Well, first off, I'd like to congratulate Arcadia and Eli Poor. He did a fantastic job uh, with his team. They came into, well, they brought a lot of fans, but, you know, we had a lot more fans, a hostile environment, and his kids played just phenomenal and made it a great championship. Uh, so I was very thankful to win. Uh, as far as going through the match, um, I thought he did a very good job of coaching uh, and what he tried to take away from us. Um, it came down to, I think, seniors making plays, you know, us being able to pass at 20-20 um, and be able to put the ball down. And, uh, and then experience. Every, most all of our players have been in the fight. They've been to the NCAA tournament. We don't have any freshmen on the floor this year. Uh, so I think that makes a big difference in a situation like that. So we're just thankful to win. I do, I do think it is. I think that learning how to win, you know, over time and having four seniors and, you know, Meg Wren didn't play much of a role today except in that third set. She came off the bench. They had sided her out every single time, and I think she got six or seven points. It was just a matter of time because she has an excellent serve, and we just never got any breaks when she was in the court, and she came in and did her job, and that was so big. And that was the match, I think, the set we were down 1916 or 1917 in the third. She came off the bench at 1917, and I believe we got six points in a row then, or maybe five. Yeah, our, our outside hitters, uh, they did a good job on them today. Um, they're big, and they're very physical, which we did see when we were up there, and... Um, Annika, excuse me, Lauren had her biggest match of the year. Now I've seen her do that her freshman year NCAAs. Lauren had 19 kills. She is capable of doing things like that. But we've got so many great hitters on this team. But Julie Nightwine did a great job getting her to the ball. And the same thing happened with uh, Mariah today. You know, Mariah got off to a slow start. She ended up with 10 kills, and uh, Caroline started getting her the ball. And then, then we, we have Victoria coming up the middle, and she ends up hitting 375. So she got she got swings as well. Uh, if there ever was a team win, it was this. Uh, and I'm, just ha I'm happy for Lauren Weaver. She's, she's not all conference. It's hard when, you, when there's so many kids that are deserving. And so it was a really great day for her. Yes, we definitely should. Right now we're number two in our region and Carnegie Mellon lost in the semifinals. So we don't know whether that's going to change that or not. Um, we have put in a bid to host. Uh, that would be fantastic to get in our gym because as you, and we've got quite, quite a few in a row in our gym. Uh, and it, to play at home for the NCAAs would, would mean a lot. Um, so we'll, the last two weekends we've been really pushed. Cabrini pushed us and, and Arcadia pushed us. And so those are great matches going into the NCAA to give us some confidence, to depend on each other, to trust each other, to try to make a play at the end and know if we don't, we're still going to love each other because we're trying to pull together as a team and I think we've really done that.